sick of all you sick of fans. Ignorance and miscreants, simpletons and little ants, trying to split their sentience. People peddle pestilence land, pipe on their settlements, and I don't think it was even food for it was excrement. Get your head in it. Second wind represent white shit. Kid, I never stepped in it. I reckon it's older than the New Testament. Huh, edit it shit. It's better to drink. Yo, what's up? Another episode of Tech Kila here coming at you. This is a Sober Thoughts edition, so we're not drinking, although I think we all actually are drinking, just not taking shots. <laughs> we're all having bourbon, it, it would seem. Uh, I am Daniel, as you know. With me today, I have Brittany and Jordan. Hello. Hi. So Jordan, y'all might remember, was on the last episode that was about uh, queer LGBT folks in Pokemon, and then Brittany's going to be on the next one. So uh, I thought I'd pull them in for this episode to talk about uh, the Pokemon Direct that happened on the 5th on Wednesday. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, um, well, actually, normally on the drinking episodes, we talk about what we're drinking. And since this is kind of like a pseudo drinking one, we might as well just real quick talk about what we're drinking. Okay, so Brittany, what are you drinking? I am drinking an apple flavored Jim Bean because I like it sweet and I don't have to put any. You know, anything in it, I can just drink it straight up. You sound so embarrassed, Julie. Really. I like apple. <laughs> Sorry. You know, like what you like. Ain't no shame. I, I'm, I might tease you, but ain't no shame. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I will accept it. <laughs> then, Jay, what do you have? Uh, wild turkey and tea. Boom. That actually sounds great. It's pretty good. Like a nice little hot toddy kind of thing. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Pokemon Direct, um, it got, there are so many reactions. When I watched it, I was freaking out. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I guess for me, one of the first things that like kind of floored me in the beginning of the video was how it looks fucking gorgeous and is like super open world. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh yeah, it looks looks like it's t- you can definitely tell it's Switch material. It's yeah. definitely like. That would kill your Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but no, it kind of reminded me of uh, Legend of Zelda games, the whole overworld when you walk around. Of course. Yeah, the aesthetics are very similar, I feel like, to Breath of the Wild. And I'm, I'm wondering how much of an influence I had on this game. Just, like, when did I decide on Galar and the aesthetic of it? Or did they, like, wait until after the Breath of the Wild to see how successful that was and then try to piggyback yeah. off of that? Or... Was well, I forget if it plan? was it was like Masuda or someone that's working on the game that was trying to like compare, like make an analogy to Breath of the Wild, and they're like, "We want something that's kind of like that for this game." But um, I didn't think they meant open world, and of course, this isn't like open world, open world. But like, mm-hmm. it looks significantly more open world than any Pokemon game. Oh yeah, for sure. Had. And I think a lot of that has to do with just changing their perspective. Like instead of looking top down as if like you're from a helicopter, you're oh, yeah. kind of more third person yeah you can, uh, that's huge yeah you can change the camera angles that was one of the things which is really awesome in a pokemon game yeah, yeah. When you have I, mean, I think we should have like, we should have expected it but also to see it in the trailer i think that not just me everyone like y'all included were like holy shit <laughs> <Just freaking out. laughs> it's like Definitely. oh my god i can see all directions all <laughs> yeah. the things <laughs> like that alone is like oh my god <laughs> And everything's so pretty. Well, and so like the talking about like the open world situation, um, the the wild area thing seems interesting. So that's like the most open aspect of it, it would seem. Um, and there's, thank God, from uh, you know from Let's Go, they still have like overworld Pokemon, which I am so thankful for because it it makes the the environment feel a lot more like lived in, I guess. Um, like, it just Definitely. makes it feel that much more, like, real, yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. I mean, I've never played Let's Go, but I can definitely see the appeal of it. It's like, the overall, just them walking and doing their thing. Or in the case of Steelix, that just floats, I guess? Yes, I that's not... Steelix, I didn't know Steelix <laughs> could just do that, but... That yeah, seems, like, not canon. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Steelix Loving. is, like, a, a million pounds, and it does not have the ability to levitate. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Somehow it does. I don't understand what was happening there. I was like, Steelix, what you doing, boy? You should be moving like a snake or something. But uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, that I saw that and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. 
but um yeah in, in general it looks fucking fantastic and mm-hmm. um what's interesting is they also showed obviously the previous trailer well not obviously for those of you uh that may not know the previous trailer they showed random encounters so everyone assumed it was just random encounters but in this one they showed both random encounters and overworld so i wonder it, it seems like it will be like a a moderate mix of the two um, I'm not really sure. I don't, and no one's really sure what it's going to be. But um, I don't mind both personally. Yeah, it could be that the random encounters could be those Pokemon that you, that will go after you no matter what, so you have no choice. And like I'm, the ones I'm, that chased you in Sun and Moon. Yeah, so that's I, that's what I'm thinking. That's that's what's happening there. Yeah, or like something kind of like that, like a similar mm-hmm. mechanic. Yeah, because like random encounters, you can't avoid them anyway. Right. So it, it, they it, they might just be trying to combine the two in some way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. to appease those that want it back. <laughs> I mean, that's well, like, really cool. I mean, I yes. uh, somewhat you could one of the scenes was like the the player whistling over to a Pokemon just kind of getting it to walk toward them. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, and just like not just that, but like talking about how cool it looks or how beautiful it looks, <laughs> like the the landscapes, the cityscapes look really cool, like that industrial like industrial revolution type City looks so fucking cool. It looks, oh, yeah. It was so like great. Gear City or something? Was that like the mm-hmm. second scene? I just wrote Gear yeah. City down. Yeah. I mean, that's that's an accurate description. <laughs> <laughs> it's very really, like steampunk. <laughs> yeah. And I love the clothes. Like, I love the wintry, like, European feel of, like, the clothes. I just love... They just did a really good job with all the aesthetics. Yeah. Yeah. And one more thing for me in the scenery, just the background, just the... The the big uh, yellow fields was really cool to look at. Yes, mm-hmm. that was amazing. Yes, yes. Just in general, it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so I guess if we're gonna go in order, uh, I think after that we got the the look at the new poke. We didn't get the names yet, but we got the three new Pokemon or four technically by new Jamie Turner, as he's That's known right. as. Um, so we got. I mean, like, I'm gonna throw my favorite out there. I th- I, my favorite, I think, is Wooloo. I know people are shitting on Wooloo. <laughs> I like Wooloo a lot. And why, why would you why would you ban off that Pokemon? It's just the sheep. <laughs> I don't know. People are like, Mareep is the sheep Pokemon. I will not have this. You've seen this lag. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there could be more than one. Like, how many rat Pokemon are there? Too many. Exactly. How many, like, squirrel Pokemon? And... Yeah. Not enough. We could have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> we will have more. <laughs> Yeah, it's Don't likely. you worry. Uh, Wooloo's fucking... I mean, I love them all. I love all the ones they revealed. I think they're I all great. But Wooloo is like, oh my god, it's just like a little sheep. It, it, there's nothing more to it. It's just a little sheep. It's just so precious. <laughs> they're just living their life. I just want to retire and like employ Eldegoss and Wooloo and start my own like yarn store. <laughs> Wait, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up the dex entry for Wooloo because it's amazing. But talk about Eldegoss and Gossifleur. I love well one. I just love the name Casa Floor because it just kind of reminds me of Floor from um, Harry Potter. That was the immediate uh, like, yeah. reaction I had. It's like yeah. oh, Floor, there she is. <laughs> so if she if she were personified as a Pokemon, I think this is what she would look like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I I I like all of them, but I have to point out Dread now as I wrote down. Koopa Blastoise Child. <laughs> but actually. That's a really good not, description. Yeah, which, you, if you know what those two are, you can probably imagine what Dreadnought is. Mm-hmm. I think Dreadnought Bar- looks pretty cool, too. I don't know. I hope Dreadnought has an evolution. I hope all of them have evolutions, to be honest. Um, I don't think Dreadnought will. I don't know. I could be wrong. So? I can oh. see Dreadnought not having one. And I also just want to be a Dreadnought trainer now, too. Like, I want to right. team. I want to be the team, the person well, who teams Because in, in the direct, they're like, this Pokemon is very hard to tame. And I'm like, Psh, it's going to be the same. <laughs> as, <laughs> you catch it in a ball. <laughs> it's going right. to be the same thing. You put it to sleep, it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Corviknight was also really cool, I thought. Yes, Corviknight is the oh, other yeah. one that I... Lo- I mean, I loved all of them, but Corviknight... So we got four, five total? Five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like... I, I guess if you don't count, like one of them is an evolution, so three oh, yeah. diff- or four different lines, I guess. I yeah, think. so Corviknight, like, just, oh, it's so cool. Just this big old metal knight raven thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I love it so much. It looks so cool. Uh, all of these was, are great. Yeah. 
I don't think I was sold on Corbin Knight when I no? first saw it. No. It kind of like, I think, I don't know, it freaked me out a little bit. Were you the one in the chat that was like, mm. I think that was me, yeah. <laughs> but like, now I love it, but it like took a while for me to warm up to it, I think. That's because fair. I, I don't know, maybe it was just all the harsh angles or something. Something threw me off. It's like, I, I don't know about this one. Well, there's only like <laughs> one color to it, so maybe that's take it. that as you will. And then the one like beady red eye. <laughs> I don't know. It just it gives me like fucking Game of Thrones vibes, like oh yeah, King in the North vibes. I mean, I now it. I love it because <laughs> it's a night. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. So <laughs> it's okay. King it's probably North. probably better than you that you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah th- they're just so fucking cool. I love them so much. And then okay, so talking about, I'm gonna go back to the graphics real quick because I wrote this down and I forgot to mention it. Um, it looks as if they are using the same uh, 3DS engine from Sun and Moon and then just, like, displaying it at higher uh, fidelity? Like, Yes, that's what I think That's what I think so, too, because I noticed that some of the idle animations for some yes. of the older Pokemon we saw were, like, the exact same, like... Yes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's not... That's not, not parsing on them, but, yeah, it does look like they just kind of imported the, the, gra- the models from Sun and Moon and it's like, oh, let's make them glossier. Yeah. Well, didn't they like, originally make the like the uh, like the original um, sprites? Like, didn't they upgrade them to like for in preparation for Switch? Because there was going to be a Pokemon Stars at some point. Yeah, yeah. So supposedly the Sun and Moon <clears throat> engine is able to display at like 720. I think I don't know if it's mm-hmm. 1080 or 720 when the 3DS's display was like 480p or something. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, people were like, this engine is definitely like a midway point for the future because this is like far surpasses what the 3ds can handle oh yeah um, i mean my personally my sun and moon game has crashed at some bat at some trainer battles <laughs> just because it could not handle the amount of things that were happening in one in one frame yeah yeah i noticed like i don't know if it was sun and moon or i think it wasn't sun and moon. maybe it was omega ruby alpha sapphire that i'm thinking of but i remember when i turn on 3d it starts lagging a decent amount Oh, the, the visuals. Yeah, <laughs> I, I never do. I've either. never used 3D. <laughs> but like the few instances where I'm like, I wonder what this looks like 3D. I turn it on and it starts like dropping frames, and I'm like, oh, this is why I never use 3D. <laughs> <laughs> also, it hurts my eyes. Yes, uh, it does. I can't find the Dex entry for Wulu, but it's something like when when predators or when a danger approaches it, when battle approaches it, it rolls away or something yes. like that. Yes, <laughs> like, yes, yes. It's the, the best. Mm-hmm. The cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, <laughs> It's oh, maybe this is it. Will we live as a herd and mimic the actions of their trainer or herd leader? They dislike conflict, and if they need to escape from enemies, they will simply roll away. There you go. I like okay. how you found that in two seconds when it took me like five <laughs> minutes to not find it. <laughs> Someone's competent here. Uh, <laughs> I have no notes, though. <laughs> oh, there you go. You have no notes, and you're quicker at finding shit than I am. <laughs> Got a uh, compromise somewhere. That's right. So, um, we got this this uh gigantamaxing thing going on <laughs> dynamaxing st- which sounds like oh sorry not gigantamaxing that's the other one that's the <laughs> it's a better name <laughs> yeah it's called dynamax or yeah, they dynam- it as dynamaxing which just sounds like you're taking some <laughs> growth hormone sounds it sounds like, something like some would... like digimon sorry. shit doesn't it May, it kind of sounds like something they would sell, try to sell on uh, late night TV and infomercial ads. Oh, yeah. Sure. Or like, like Infowars. Like <laughs> it's like Ben Shapiro or like Alex Jones is trying to sell it online. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, I don't know how to feel about it. So for those of you that uh, – I can't imagine anyone listening to this who hasn't watched it. But for those of you who have not, there is this new mechanic called Dynamaxing where – in uh there's two settings that they showed it in in a, like a the stadium like the equivalent of like a soccer stadium or football for you non-Americans uh and then in this like in the wild uh what do they call it again the um wild area in the wild area they have these like little um like nexus points where you can meet up with other people and do what appear to be very similar to Pokemon Go raids oh yeah it's um, max raid battle they said yeah, that's what they're calling it. Which funny because I wrote down raid battle in here, and there's like, oh, I guess it's just max. <laughs> but it's a raid battle. <laughs> yeah, I thought they said raid somewhere, and like, I'm pretty sure they said it in in the direct. 
Because I immediately thought of Pokemon Go. I was like, oh, I guess I mean, they're trying to use that. They're definitely alluding to Pokemon Go. There's no mm-hmm. way they're not. It's um, like a, it's like a comb. It's like so far it's a combination of Sun and Moon, Let's Go, and Pokemon Go. So they're trying to, they're trying to catch everyone at this one. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally, totally. But the the thing, the thing I thought of immediately when I saw them in the stadium context, I was like, "Ooh, there's some collateral damage there. Like, there's some Me audience too. members dying." Yes. Yeah. Like, how is everyone not dead? I don't understand. And how is that building still standing? <laughs> that seems very dangerous. I who who's taking care of that stadium afterwards? Mm-hmm. That was a hell I'm of a job. Like, yeah, I'm wondering if it's like the like all of them have that weird purple like cloud over them. Yes, so I'm wondering yeah. if that's what's dampening the the damage, the like collateral damage, maybe? It's like a Some sort of like magic something. barrier? <laughs> I don't know. It's, so they call them max raids? Yeah. That's what you said, Jordan? Yeah, right. max okay, so raids. Which one was it? So there's the raid dynamic that we've seen, and then there's the dynamic that we saw that was like the equivalent of a gym battle. Mm-hmm. Um, your Pokemon gets huge. You use this thing that looks like uh, the Z Crystal wristband or the Mega Evolution wristband. You turn your Pokeball into a giant disco ball, <laughs> and, then, and then you throw it behind you. It really does look like a disco ball. I can't unsee that. That's very important. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. Uh, now, now I just like every time I see it, I'm going to think of like the Bee Gees or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that happens. Um, what else did we say about it? Just how uh, much I love the Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I just want the Pokeball. <laughs> I, oh, I don't give a fuck about anything else about they it. They mentioned yeah. you can uh, like meet up with people like like real raid battles, either locally yeah. or over the internet. And I don't yeah, play Pokemon Go. So you guys tell me exactly how fun that is. I mean, I stopped playing Pokemon Go. I don't know. The raids I find <laughs> boring. I'm um, still an avid player. Mostly because mostly cause of the Slack community, honestly. Um, but... I don't know, because there's, no there's never been a mechanic where we can interact with more than one other online player in Pokemon. So this is the first time that we can do up to four. They also said, I don't know if you all noticed, but in the middle of that um, Max Raid battle scene, at some point they have a little subtitle at the bottom that says, additional accessory may be required for multiplayer mode. And I was like, mm, what is that going to be? Of course. I Another missed that. Pokeball Plus thing. I really hope not. <gasps> a Disco Ball. <laughs> oh, okay now that you can tell yes <laughs> i i i think what they're getting at is maybe uh the you know the nintendo switch app on mobile to try to connect with folks mm. that might be what they mean i hope for the sake of like just buying the game and be able being able to play it with other people they don't yeah that would be unfortunate require. if there was a paywall in order i mean there's already a paywall to use online features so in order to right. pay like to buy some other device in order to you know, raid with There's your like friends. A second videos. Pokemon play wall, a paywall. Yeah, that that wouldn't be that wouldn't be fair. That would not be cool. Um, so I saw that and I was like, Ooh, I hope I hope it's not something paid. Um, if it was something like the little like I don't know the little disco balls like a controller that would be fun. Oh yeah, that's like not necessary. Um, I wonder if the Pokeball I, Plus would be compatible with this game. That's what I was thinking. I see it sitting in my, you know, my little gaming cupboard or whatever. Not a cupboard, whatever that's called, <laughs> where my TV is. And I, it just, I just don't use it because I haven't played Let's Go in months. And I was like, I wonder if I can use that for this game. It would be really nice. Mm-hmm. It would be really nice. Although the I I loathe the catch mechanics in Let's Go with that little Pokeball Plus. Personally, yeah, it's a little annoying. It's, it's much not... easier in the Switch. Yeah, I mean. It's just not my favorite to use the that catch mechanic at all. But um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, so Leon, Leon, Leon. the extra man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jordan, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you hit it off with Leon. Oh, what what do you. we? How do we feel? Do we stand? I don't think we stand. Uh, he's <laughs> kind of. I don't know how I feel. Okay, on one hand. He seems like the very generic, I'm the champion guy. Here's my Charizard. You all love Charizard, right? Remember Charizard? Mm-hmm. And like, oh, kid, work yeah. hard. Maybe you'll get to me. But on the other hand, his clothing is so crazy and so extra. I kind of like it. I par- Part of me does and part of me hates it. So I hate love him. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Charizard thing, like, I think it was you, Jordan, that was saying that uh, it seems like this game is, like, trying to appeal to, like, longtime fans, uh, Pokemon Go fans, and then, like, Let's Go fans. And, like, I think the Charizard thing is definitely yeah. for, like, the, I mean, the Go yeah. folks. I mean, I was hoping to see a new Pokemon he had, or just no Pokemon at all. I'd rather just that be a reveal. Or maybe yeah. something special happens with Charizard. Who knows? He should have right. had, like, a Dreadnought instead. I know. I mean, he definitely has, like, you know, some Pokemon from the region unique. We just don't know yet. Yeah, yeah like, uh, out of all But Charizard Pokemon, seems to be his mascot Pokemon. Yeah, which is, like, there's he could have used one, for, like, just from this region as a mascot instead of... Like, you already featured giant Dynamax Pikachu. Why do you need a giant Charizard? Okay, I think more egregious than the Charizard is his facial hair. Okay? <laughs> his facial hair is ridiculous. Like, no one has facial hair like that ever in the history of humanity. Like, not one human being has ever had facial hair like this. See, I feel like if I had facial hair, I would want to do something crazy like that. Like, I love the no. Hunger Games guy, the, the, what's it, the game master, or developer, oh, the game, whatever. I forget his name, yeah. Okay, but this whole ass like Wolverine facial hair thing is not <laughs> flying. Oh it's not my flying. god, I uh, I cannot see that now. I hate him now. See all the yeah. things that you yeah, hate. I exactly. love. I want the cape. I like the cape. I like the hat. I like the facial the, hair. I don't like the this com- jersey tight thing. <laughs> this combination is like insulting. I I do hate love it, like Jordan was saying, but it's <laughs> mostly hate. There's like a little bit of I like it in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, in like the way that anime can be really weird with outfits and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, God, cape with the soccer jersey, gaming jersey kind of thing, and then like soccer pants and leggings and oh, the sneakers. The short and the shorts and the leggings are so good. I mean, I'm cool with that part. Like that part's great. I like match. everything under the cape. Like if the cape were off, this would look dope. But like it's it was like you were saying, Jordan. Like the cape is like, oh, it's royalty. It's it's Britain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's stop talking then, about Leon. <laughs> Wait, okay, so real quick, you pointed out that it didn't get recorded, that the, the hat kind of looks like oh, a yeah. crown. Yeah, the inside of his snapback, is that what that is? Yeah, it in, looks like a snapback. Yeah, the inside it's a design is like a triangle, which looks like a crown. Mm-hmm. So, kind of like a champion crown. Yeah, I did not catch that. Uh, but also, like, yeah, that in combo with the with the cape. Yeah, royalty. He's got, also, his name is Leon, and like Leon is Lion, and Lion is what is like Lion is what it's on the the like not the current British flag or English flag, obviously, but the old English flag from like oh. I want to say like prior to the 1700s, if I had to guess a time period, it's- it was three lions, like three gold lions on a red field. Was the flag of England for a minute with some fleur de lis as well? Yeah, kind of blue I think field. So. I mean, it's very royal. So, like, yeah, the Leon, his name is, like, definitely a nod to that. The, it was definitely on purpose. Um, okay, so other characters. How do we feel about, who's next? Hop. So Hop is, is dude's little brother, Leon's little brother that's, like, your your rival, your friend in the beginning. Um, I like that a lot, personally. And what's interesting is that he's going to be one of our rivals, too. Oh. oh I missed that. Mm-hmm. It definitely says that in the description. So it would be interesting to see who else would be. Like, will they have your generic one that just kind of switches gender to whichever opposite, like opposite gender you choose? Yeah. Oh yeah, the other player avatar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, will yeah. Sonya be like our our ri- rival as well? But they haven't revealed her as our rival oh, yet. I love Sonya, but Hop is. Pre- I like Hop too. He seems mm-hmm. like he reminds me of How if How was a little more sporty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's interesting not that in shows, Hawaii like, no yes yeah, in in the opposite location <laughs> instead of tropical it is cold and wet <laughs> I think Sonia um, I mean it kind of like leak territory but I saw somewhere that Sonia was um, formerly Leon's rival and is now uh, you know not anymore oh okay I like, Which is interesting. I really like her design. I mean, the nails alone are really... That was a really cool uh, extra detail. Mm-hmm. Wait, I haven't seen her nails. Oh, shit, I just saw her nails. That yeah, is good. they're like <laughs> acrylic. That is dope. And I love all the little hearts, like, everywhere on her bag and her hair, on her shoes. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> the hair is a nice touch. There's some point in the trailer where she, like, twirls her hair. Yeah, that was really cool. I was like, oh, they can do that? <laughs> 
And then the professor is Magnolia, who looks cool. Who's her, her grandmother? Yes, I love her. Which also. is also a tree. Oh, keeping on that tree theme, Miss right. Magnolia. I mean, you have to. Also, wait, hold on. I'm looking at a scene with Magnolia and like Leon's talking to her. And you see Leon from behind. And not only is his hair still ridiculous, but dude has like sponsors on his cape. Like a NASCAR what? or like a, like a soccer jersey sponsor, but like a ton of them. Um, I'm at 12:43 on the the official one. All right, I totally missed uh, that. Yeah, definitely I, missed that. So that's a thing that's part of his aesthetic. Also, he has like sweat bands on his wrists or wristbands, whatever they're called. Mm-hmm. That could be uh, just like the weird Dynamax bracelet, which oh yeah, which it does look. I mean, it fits with the whole soccer sporty thing they're yeah. doing. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of them. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably what it is. Highly likely. Um, the sponsor. Oh yeah, not, I see him now. <laughs> not not into it. I'm really not. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but uh, dude has to get paid somehow. Okay. Yes. That's right. <laughs> has to pay for his hairstylist. Wow, his hair is really long. Now they look at it from the back. I know. It's really the like the pseudo wings he has on the side of his head that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> That's like the worst part of the character design, in my opinion. That and like the Wolverine facial hair. No, I'll keep the facial hair. The wings can go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have both. Yeah, you can't. It's too much. Okay, so other character we got. I guess I, should we assume this is the first gym leader? I don't. They didn't tell us which gym leader this is in terms of order. No, but I we think got this it guy. Did say at one point that it was the first. Okay, so we got the first gym leader, Milo. Um. He just has no nose for some reason. No, <laughs> he, no he does. I I owe that myself. Okay. No, from the side, he does have a nose. I should. Okay. No, okay. I wrote that down. No nose? Question mark. <laughs> I was like, this motherfucker looks like a Bratz doll. What is happening? <laughs> um. So grass type, it would appear. Definitely. Uh, that way. Definitely a farmer boy. Ginger. He looks like a child's head on a huge buff man's body. He is a. Very bulky, uh, sweet boy. That's my, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's that was my impression of him. Is sweet farmer boy. Very sweet boy. I love his hat and how large it is. It's a it's a pretty nice hat. He's very cute. Yeah, he's a very cute character design. Very soft. Mm-hmm. His feet are a little <laughs> weird though. Like, I feel like they're not very proportioned. Like, oh, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are we? Yeah, he's. We sque- keep pointing out things that we can't unsee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of squeezing those hands into those shoes. They do not fit him. Yeah, what the hell is going yeah. on? Maybe it's just this weird pose. I mean, so he is very, he's like very bulky, but not like bulky. not like sharp bulky. He's very soft, happy bulky. <laughs> <laughs> also, hey, wait, I'm just, I'm just combing through. Masuda is wearing a watch and a Fitbit on the same wrist. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I did write. I did write down Masuda cooler than I thought he looked. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's definitely wearing like a very emo hoodie that I would have worn in the knots. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised it doesn't say like AFI on it or something. <laughs> it's one of those band like the used. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, okay, so we got Milo, little, little ginger farmer boy, and then I guess after that we got the legendaries. So we got the three doggos. Two doggos. The three. Two. I don't know why I said three. Maybe a third? I mean, Who knows? probably will be. Yeah. There's potentially a third one. So we have two doggos, <laughs> two doges, um, and I feel all kinds of ways about this. I, I'll let y'all go as I gather my thoughts and emotions. Brittany, you want to go? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm... No one can talk. <laughs> I'm always biased in that I, I pick whichever game is the bluest. So I am already team Zacian. Zacian. That's it. Yeah. That's close enough. We'll call that the correct pronunciation. Like, I love the coloration of it. And I, ca- I kind of like, I don't the feet are a little weird for like a doggo. Like, they kind of almost look more like hooves than, than dog feet. And I just feel bad for the fact that he has to carry his sword all, all over the place. Is that the shield one? Like that. That's the sword one. Zasu oh, no, the sword one. is the shield one. Za, Za Mazenta, Mazenta is the shield one. <laughs> yeah, their names. That's right. <laughs> Za Mazenta. What a fucking name. Mm-hmm. I I don't know how to feel. I really don't. What's in- mm. I'm going to steal a little tidbit. from. So I listened to the latest episode of It's Super Effective. 
And yeah. he, so Steve broke down the translation of these two names. Oh. So za in I think it's in Japanese means the, and cyan, cyan, yeah, cyan is uh cyan the color. Oh. So it's the cyan, and the other one's magenta is magenta. So it's oh. the magenta. Oh. And according to him, like for dyeing and printing, the the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So There's like, cyan for printing. It's cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Mm-hmm. CMYK. Yep. Oh. So it, yeah. it could be that the third game would be yellow, some sort of yellow. Yeah, Ooh. looking at them, they are those three colors. That's a good observation. That mm-hmm. is a very good observation. Also, not only those three, but in printing, it's it's those three plus black. K stands for black, and there's black on them too. So it could be. I mean, they for the past very couple generations, they've been doing two two games. So maybe instead of having an ultra. Zacian, <laughs> Ultra Sword, Ultra Shield, they'll do some sort of yellow and black type game instead, which would yeah. be a little bit more interesting. It would be a, probably more of a traditional sequel is what I'm hoping, and not just the same thing with different dialogue. I'm, I'm leaning towards Shield only because I tend for the version I think will be less popular. <laughs> um, that's like generally what I do. So like, uh, for sun and moon, I went moon just cause I, I don't know. The moon's pretty. And also I thought the sun would be more popular. Um, mm-hmm. the only one I didn't do that as a kid was Ruby just cause I thought Groudon looked dope. Uh, <laughs> so clearly I, I'm consistent in my, in my logic towards this. Yeah. I don't know. They, they're so bizarre looking. Yeah, I, I kind of. I don't. I really don't know how to feel. I'll just sit here and study more if I try to <laughs> think about how I feel. Um, I don't know how I feel. For some reason, I was rem- when I saw these two kind of like approach each other. Like there was like this weird moment in the trailer of, oh, I kind of recognize you. And for some mm-hmm. reason, I thought of uh, the myth of Romulus and Remus, which are like the in Roman mythology. They're the twin brothers yeah. who were raised mm-hmm. by wolves who founded the Roman Empire. Yeah. Oh, kingdom, whatever. I know. Yeah, yeah it, that's just what I city thought state of. or whatever it was. Yeah, since they look, they like kind of like clash, and they're like, "Oh, hey, who are you?" That to do with the dog tilt. And they are wolves, so it's true. I would definitely like to have some sort of aspect of that into lore, but I'm not. Didn't they already use like Robinson and Remus for like black and white? Yeah, they kind of did. did. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the the older and younger brothers. But yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, what? <laughs> How did I not make that connection? <laughs> what? Exploding you're, head. <laughs> you're like rocking my world right now. What the fuck? This is not. This is not my knowledge. I have stolen all this knowledge, <laughs> and just repeating all of it. That's so crazy. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, these guys. I don't know what to think of them. The also the the cover art they revealed is extremely underwhelming. I'm. I don't know. It just looks not great in my opinion. Yeah, I don't like the cover art. I'd rather have. The whatever positions they are in on the website instead. Yeah, like the, yeah, what the the art on the website looks better than the cover art on the games that they have uh, they have released thus far. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I just want um, Zacian to like take a break, like put down the sword, like go play around a little bit and come back. <laughs> Dude, the, the the cyan magenta thing is messing with me now. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! I'm just noticing it. <laughs> That's super cool. I might go. I'm gonna go with shield now. It is declared. Yeah, I have nothing else to say about this Pokemon Direct. What about y'all? I kind of wish I didn't watch this trailer because now I kind of want this game. I do not own a Switch, so this is a problem. <laughs> this is a new problem for me. And girl, you're gonna have to get you a Switch. <sighs> So expensive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure. I mean, you could probably, if you're looking for a deal, find a used one. I was going Craigslist. Okay. Thank you both for being here. Thanks everyone for listening. Audience, dear audience members. Bye bye. Repetitive sedatives like every veteran, uh, never remembering, uh, ever degenerate. Uh, instead of forgetting and letting them do the setting like sediment on that part, mix it up with six guy rage against machine, bit of J Rock, K Dot, switch it up, gangsta, get in on my stage props, still up with the beats and catch me singing like I'm a Oh, I forgot to. Oh, well, too late. I, for, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot this. ¿Te enteraste lo que pasó? Tú no viste la noticia. <laughs>
I, f- I forgot about that. Oh, well, too late. Oh, no. Maybe I'll splice it in. Mm-hmm. <laughs>